Hello everybody and welcome back to another video inside of my Minecraft survival world. So once again, there's another wandering trader just wandering around here. Uh, I don't think I want any of this so you can die and so can you guys. Okay, so what I want to do in this video is to make a, uh, a museum for all my um, for all my most valuable items, so things like, may maybe a beacon, I might put a beacon in there if I get another beacon, because the beacon that I have right now, I want to have it on hand in case I need it, but I definitely would put the dragon egg in there, maybe, maybe a netherite block, if I ever get one, um, and, you know, just super valuable and rare items, so, I spent a while getting all of this stuff, so I built a ton of sandstone, uh, stone and quartz and sea lanterns. So I, I didn't, I, I already had the stone and sea lantern, so that wasn't that bad. And actually, quartz used to be a really big issue, but the masons, they actually sell quartz. So I'm hoping that that will be enough and also the sandstone will be used for the floor. So, what I'm going for, for this building is kind of, I'm not exactly sure where they're, it's from, but kind of those buildings that has, doesn't have any walls, but has a bunch of pillars holding up the roof. Um, I, I hope you know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, uh, you'll see when the building is done. So, I'm gonna actually... Uh, dig out this whole layer of dirt right here, which also means uh, digging out this pathway and moving it down one block. And then, um, so then also, the, uh, it will kind of have a walkway in the center and a walkway going across. So the one going across, so this exit right here will go up here into the museum here. And then there will also be a pathway going out from right here. What's also going to be really interesting about this building is that the roof, it's going to be a world map. So I, I wanted to make a map that actually updated. I have a bunch of maps, or actually not a lot, but I have two maps in my map room. And those are locked to a specific time. I'm just making those maps every once in a while. Um, I, I just wanted to have a, I also want to have a map that isn't locked and just updates automatically. Um, so this is what this entire building is gonna be. So I'm planning on making this absolutely massive map on the, uh, on the ceiling of the mu museum. And I think that might be cool if there's one thing that I'm concerned about is that it might get a little bit laggy because this area this area is already laggy enough because there's so much stuff going down down underground in the base so yeah if there's one thing i'm concerned about it's the lag because that's a lot of entities to have a giant map but it's not going to be of the whole world um but yeah i actually i don't know how large it will be i'm planning on making it so you know how maps have of uh, four different levels uh for the oh there's another person here so you know how maps have kind of the four levels of how large the map air er, the area of the map is covering i'm thinking of doing level two for each one so it's not like it'll uh, cover a huge amount of distance it'll just cover a lot actually all right so i'm gonna start right over here so um, I want a pathway going out from this entrance right over to the, uh, to the museum here. So, I think I'm gonna start, have the side be maybe right here. So then, uh, from the pathway, it goes out 20 blocks, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, I, I did, I did spend quite a while planning this build out in creative mode, and I think it's gonna turn out well. So this is, yeah, this is 10 right here. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And so, yeah, it's also a pretty decent distance away from the, uh, from the pathway. 
and then it goes out eight blocks right here and then this is the uh the pathway entrance right here so um so if i just go out three blocks here and then do 20 blocks so that's five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty and then i just go eight blocks in this direction i can just line it up right here so yeah this is kind of this is kind of the size of it i just need to copy this onto the other side so it's a three block gap for the pathway and then so that's five one two three and so yeah this is about as large as the entire thing is gonna be so it, it's it's decently sized it's not like absolutely massive but it's still not any in any way small okay i need to dig out a little bit more in this area here yeah i will need to do a little bit of terraforming since as you can see the other uh, stone oh wait i want to build with grass the other uh, stone does go a bit in the air right there so now so here here you go so this is this is the size of the entire thing and then in the middle there are going to be these uh stone pathways right in the middle here i really i really want to do a time lapse for building this thing except i want to explain uh what i'm doing uh exactly um so i'm gonna kind of just i think i'm gonna start at the end and kind of do a little sample of it like usual and then because really though a lot like a lot of my builds i just have this one thing and then it just mainly gets copied for the entire thing that's kind of how i like to build my builds um so i'm just gonna explain what i'm building and how i'm building it and then i'm just gonna uh copy it the entire way because i just i find that the easiest way to uh to build a uh, building all right so we have a pathway going through the middle here um and then the these places will get filled in with uh sandstone um so i'm gonna do that a bit i'm not gonna fill in the entire thing but i'm just gonna fill in a just about this side so maybe about a quarter of the sandstone floor so i'll do all the way until here and then just fill in all this oh dang it i i made i i made a mistake all right so is this one two three okay so this is eight blocks all right and, th and this is seven blocks okay i'll admit i made a mistake i made a slight mistake uh this should be one block uh farther out all right yeah that's a little bit annoying but uh i i make mistakes a bit and that's okay because it can be easily fixed just like this yeah i was a little bit confused for a second why why is this not lining up all right so um so the pillars are going to be two by two and so it's going to be the same on each side so i'll just i'll do the pillar right over here so yeah the pillars are going to be made out of uh quartz and so the um the pillars have a two block a two block gap i believe and it's just like this i may have to double check but i'm gonna act like this is how it's supposed to be all right yeah this is correct honestly i really don't like building stuff in creative and then um making it in survival mode especially when i need to actually look at screenshots to build it in that that building right over there i built it in creative mode except i completely memorized how to build it since it's a pretty simple build and i didn't need any screenshots to make that but yeah i'd prefer to make it in survival mode except that's a waste if i mess up and don't like what i make it's a big waste of time and resources so I feel like I'll sometimes do that, but sometimes do what I'm doing here. Alright, so each of the pillars need to go up 10 blocks. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of quartz. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is 6 blocks. Alright, so if this is 6 blocks, then 
uh, 7, 8, 9, 10. That is 10, right? Oh no. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, yeah, it is 10. Okay, good. So now I can use this pillar right here for reference for all the others. I just need to make sure that they're the same height as this first pillar right over here. So I'm just going to build up a few of these pillars and uh, show you kind of the design of the roof because um and then yeah and then i can just get to copying because uh when, once i'm done showing you that there's really not going to be anything new really because the roof just goes across it's not and then it the design is copied on the other side so it's not really that much now there's going to be kind of like a border of smooth sandstone going all the way around uh, the top of the pillars right here just a one block gap from the uh from the ceiling and then uh there's going to be kind of like a sandstone sandstone smooth sand stands i can't talk smooth sandstone right here so i'm pretty sure the bottom of the I'm pretty sure the bottom of the kind of like the border goes two blocks out from right there because there are uh, stairs right there. So this is the bottom. And so, yeah, the bottom is right here. And then this goes all the way across uh, just like this. And then at the corners, at the corners here. I think this goes out one more block, and then at the corners I need to put some stairs going like this. And then uh, there's a block right here, and then it kind of goes up with slabs. So right here, there's slabs going like that. And then, so yeah, I just I just copy this until I get to the middle. I think that's probably far enough. I think this is the middle here. So then the middle has three blocks just like this. And then I do the exact same on uh, this side right over here. So there are going to be stairs and then a block. And then I just repeat this whole slab uh, thing right here. And then I just need to fill in the middle right here with a bunch of sandstone right here. And then in the middle, right, where, where's the middle? So right here. So right here is the middle. In the middle, right here, there is a sea lantern right there. And then, so yeah, you can see this is how it the design looks it's pretty simple but i i uh i like it and then um on the top here right here uh there are just a bunch of stairs going in like that so yeah that's it's gonna be a little bit annoying to build i think i might build this a little bit differently i think i'll do um maybe i'll do the border of the roof first and then add in the stairs and then after that add in the sandstone that goes around yeah i think that might be what i would like to do so yeah and then it just it's like um it just stretches off it just goes across this roof design right here it goes across all the way to the other end and then it's copied so um uh yeah that that's pretty much it so i guess i'll just do this time lapse then okay yeah i really i don't know i kind of i don't really know how i feel about time lapsing the entire build but i'm just i'm trying to uh experiment with how i want to make these videos so i'm just gonna try this out <laughs>
Looks like there are some uh, suspicious looking people over there. I'm gonna go say hi. Hello there. Hello there. How are you guys doing? Why do you have crossbows? Why are you out? Oh, ah, ah. Whoa, wh what are you doing? Why? What did I ever do to you? All right, yeah, it's time to show these punks who's the boss. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm not the only one, or well, you're not the only one that knows how to shoot a bow. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh shoot, I, I, I have bad omen. All right. Um, I'm gonna quickly milk you, cow. Thank you very much for your delicious milk. And, um, yeah, I, I was a little bit concerned because I wanted them to, uh, to just walk away a little bit because I didn't want to start a raid. That, that would be terrible. So, uh, yeah, I am now covered in arrows, which is very, very nice. And as you can see, this, uh, this building is now... Kind of done. I still have to add in a bunch of sea lanterns, but I am very happy with how this turned out. And I actually, I put in sea lanterns in the ceiling because uh, it would have just been a pain to put them in after, so I just did it then. Um, I probably will add in a few more sea lanterns. I don't know, maybe. But I'm going to add in sea lanterns in the floor right now, so I believe that a sea lantern goes here. I'm just going to make the holes first. So it should end up right with three block gaps. Yeah, so three block gaps across here. I just want this entire room to be lit up because um, I don't want any mobs to spawn here. Especially uh, since this is going to be kind of a place with valuable items. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, it probably would have been a better idea <laughs> to, put, um, to put walls on this building since, you know... Uh, if a creep, if it's nighttime and a creeper walks up, walks up and into the room, yeah, it's not, it's not gonna be good. It really isn't, but too late now. Um, okay, so that's the pathway all lit up now. I'm thinking I just want to put some. Okay, yep. <laughs> like, yeah, like I was saying, uh, creepers can get in here, which is not really that good. And also zombies. You know what I should probably do is to uh, just spam a bunch of torches everywhere and hope that that stops mobs from spawning at least in in this area that'd probably be a smart idea um okay so i'm gonna put sea lanterns in the corners here so i need to figure i just need to space them out them all out equally so hmm so this is a so both of these are three block gaps so yeah, I'll just put these into here, and then over here, uh, I'll try, I'll try a three block gap again and see how that goes. Um, hmm, okay. I need to make sure that this is all equal. Maybe if I do two blocks right here, and then three blocks... Okay, you know what? This works. This works. Alright, so it's two blocks, then four, 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 and then two. Alright. Oh, and I also, another thing that I did was I added in some grass right here so that it's all nice and terraformed. Oh no, it's a baby zombie. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna go and place in all of these sea lanterns right here. Alright, so this entire place, I think, is lit up at least enough. Um, so what I'm gonna do is kind of... I'm gonna have these logs placed around here for kind of like the, um... The pedestals that the valuable items are gonna be on, so maybe... Uh, I might change the block. It might be, I don't know, maybe a sea lantern or something like that. And so... Maybe the bottom block might be a sea lantern, and then there would be a block above, which is either the valuable item, say it's a dragon egg, then the dragon egg would be on top of here, and then, or there would be a different block that uh, has an item frame on it, and that is where the item is going to be in. So I'm actually, I'm going to use 
sea lanterns actually i think it just fits in a little bit better but at the same time i really i think wood also works but uh it's not the most lit up so i will use sea lanterns but i can always change it so it's not that big of a deal all right I'm actually, yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out, especially the other uh, pillars. I think it just looks very, very nice. All right, so uh, three blocks and then, so it'll kind of be four blocks with three blocks away from the pillar and three blocks away from the path. And then it'll be the exact same right over here. I, oh, Endermen. Endermen are kind of annoying, honestly. Um, I'm, I'm thinking of maybe possibly sometime uh, adding a plug in that stops Enderman from griefing because it's not like it matters all that much and it's just annoying but I might not I don't know because I, I want a nice vanilla experience so um I'm not sure I'll think about it and even if I do I probably won't do it anytime soon um, because, well, when I was building this place, uh, there were just a bunch of random blocks scattered all around this area, and it was really, it, it really did not look that good. Alright, so here are all the sea lanterns, all made, so now I'm gonna make the pathways. So, I need to make the pathway going from here, alright. Hmm, you know what, I'm gonna actually... I'm gonna get the stairs from over here. Are these the stairs? Wait, where are the stairs? Alright, these these blocks are the stairs. And then... Here we go. So now, um, the pathway... I'll make stairs going into that. And then... Uh, there will be... Well, a flat ground right here, and then some more stairs, and uh, yeah, it's very, very basic, I don't really need to explain this. Alright, so those are the two paths, complete that path, and uh, this path right over here, and I think I'm gonna wrap up this video now. So, I hope that you guys like this building, it's kind of inspired off of I don't really know. I think it might be Greek buildings, but yeah, I'm not sure. Also, there's this piece of, there's this leaf block that is just floating right up here, and I have no idea why it hasn't disappeared yet. I probably placed it or something. All right, there we go. I think this is kind of the building. I think that the buildings with kind of the pillars for walls are Greek buildings, but I'm not completely sure. I'm not, um, a historian or anything. But, um, but yeah, I'm very happy with how this turned out. And this stone thing in the middle here will be used for a map. So, I'm thinking sometime soon I'll just, uh, map out at least some of this. I won't do this in one episode, because mapping out this much area... Is just way too much. It'll take way too long. So I'm going to have to spread it out over a long period of time. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.